Ladies and gentlemen, let's talk about anal beads. You know, those little wonders that promise to take you on a wild ride, but leave you wondering if you accidentally signed up for a game of Twister instead. So, picture this. You and your partner are in the heat of the moment. You've got your favorite playlist going, candles lit, and suddenly, it's like you're on a DIY episode of Pimp My Ride. But for your backside, now, let's dive into those beads. They're like a string of Christmas lights. Only half the time, you're not sure if they're going to shine bright or short-circuit your plans. You've got the tiny ones, which are like the appetizer. And then you work your way up to the big boy, which is basically the main course of butt stuff. And here's a fun fact. When you pull those beads out, it's like a roller coaster ride. Except you're not sure if it's going to be a thrilling drop or a sudden, oh God, I regret everything moment. You ever notice how the size increases are like life decisions? You start with the tiny bead and it's like, I can handle this. And by the time you're at the big one, you're like, what was I thinking? I need a safe word. But hey, at least when they come out, you can always say you've just completed an intense workout. Who needs a gym membership when you can do Kegel exercises with beads? And let's be real, nothing says romance like a post-bead cleanup. So, whether you're a seasoned bead aficionado or just dipping your toes, air beads into the experience, remember to embrace the awkwardness. Just think of it as a bonding experience, like building IKEA furniture together, but with more tears and possibly a trip to the ER. So, folks, if you ever find yourself questioning your life choices, just remember, there's always a bead for that. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Because sharing is caring, especially when it comes to awkward moments.